Okay then guys, and welcome to another video. This time we're looking at Roland Thunder 2 on the Sega Mega Drive. Now this is a part of the arcade um, version, but I actually prefer this version because it's got a number of um, extras that didn't make it in the original arcade game. So um, for starters, at the beginning of each level you got a nice little cutscene. Doesn't really add a lot, but some of them are quite funny with the text. And here you go, you can see it now. And another another nice touch is that there's several levels which weren't in the original game in the arcade version. In fact, there's three additional stages. It only came out on the um, only came out on the Mega Drive, as far as I'm aware. Although you can now get it on Sega's Virtual Console, so it's definitely worth downloading. And it's a continuation of the 1986 arcade game, so as you can see, it's extremely similar. You've now got um, a second player, which um, you can basically. All right, sweetheart. I'll have a look in a minute, okay? Just be quiet, because we're just doing a video. And um, yeah, it's typical run and gun action. So basically, just like later titles like Shinobi, you can basically jump up and down throughout the stages. They're like two-tiered stages. You've got um, you've only got a limited amount of bullets in this, though. So one of the nice touches with Roland Thunder is that there's certain doors, and if you go through these doors, you can get additional bullets or even new power-ups. As we see here, this is bullets got to watch out for enemies when they fire at you because their bullets are deceptively tricky to see. Really funky music as well. And it's, a, it's, it's just a really slick little shooter. Not typically running... Well it is a run and gun game but it's, it's slightly more slower paced than obviously the likes of Contra and Metal Slug. But, um, and you've obviously got far more platforming than what you get in those titles, but, you know, um, I think you can probably pick this up for around 5 on the Mega Drive, or it's around the same price on the Virtual Console. And it's, it's just really good fun, you've got a nice, nice selection of um, bosses, a decent amount of variety in the stages. I love the music, listen to it. Ba -ba -da -ba. And plenty of passwords, so if you want, you can basically go to the later stages. And again, very anime-styled um, cutscenes. Most likely this was done by um, Sega of Japan for the conversion, and you can see that, and obviously the style of the visuals. <laughs> Roland Thunder first came out in 1986 in the arcades. It was ported to numerous home systems. The NES port was pretty good, if I remember correctly. It might have even had a few differences as well compared to the arcade version. Um, there was Rolling Thunder 2. I'm pretty sure there was a Rolling Thunder 3. I've been, although it might have been unofficial. I think it went by the name of Thunder Jewels. Let's have a look. Yeah, there was a Rolling Thunder 3. And Rolling Thunder 3 came out in 1993. And apparently, yeah, this was this was exclusive to the the actual Mega Drive. So if anyone's interested in looking at that, we can um. We can always put a video on later on. Not actually played it myself, but uh, you know, it's only an emulator away, so we can check that out. I love how the cats disappear when you shoot them, just like in real life. As you can see, your um, agent's fairly athletic. She's able to jump, jump up and down with ease, and more panthers. And another, another nice touch here is how you can obviously hide in the alcoves to dodge bullets. Now we're coming up to the, um... Oh, thanks for that, sweetheart. We're coming up to the first, um, end of level boss now. He can be quite a bugger, but obviously as with most of these guys, there is a, there is a nice way to beat him. Now as you can see, his lock-on system is absolutely shit, so... If you're quick enough, unlike there, you can actually get out of his way and you have a good indication of when he's going to fire, so let's, let's give it another try. I think we're going to manage it this time. So pick up, pick up your firepower. <laughs> and as you can see, his targeting is completely off to begin with, so just hammer the shit out of him. Run away! Run away! There you go. 
should have a map. He's gone. Oh, this is brilliant. Look at this. A party will have to crash it. I wonder if it's bring your own bullets. Ha 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 ha, Sega, you're so funny. Animation is pretty solid. There's a nice variety to the um, levels. Design is pretty decent. Fairly generic, but you know, we won't hold that against it. But it, it's so, the music is so funky in this. In fact, I think, I think they even released a soundtrack of it. And if they didn't, they should have, because it's really good. Now these guys down there on the bottom, which are making all the noise, basically you can only shoot them in the back. But um, if you do take them out, they sort of act like a smart bomb and they take off, take out anything around you, as we'll hopefully be able to show you in a minute. I've been fiddling around with the um, sound quality now, so hopefully the mic audio for these commentaries is getting better. Um, again, any advice you want to give is... I'm definitely open to suggestions. Actually, have any of you played or seen oh, Elevator Action Returns 2? Oh no, no, sorry, Elevator Action Returns. Very similar game. Um, it came out a lot later. It's actually out in the, both the arcade and the Saturn, and it's absolutely fantastic. So um, check out check out some videos on YouTube. If, I'm sure there'll be some around. But again, if anybody wants to see it, it's one of my favourite games. So I'm more than happy to do a little playthrough of it. So anyway, this is Rolling Thunder 2. We, we could carry on, but you know, basically this is basi it's another two minutes of what you can already see. So um, we're gonna cut the video here. Um, I'm aiming to make my videos a lot shorter because I'm simply aware that a lot of people haven't got time to watch 10 minutes at a time. So this is Darren Jones from Retro Gamer Magazine. This is Rolling Thunder 2 for the Sega Mega Drive, a port of the 1990 arcade game, and I'll be back with new videos very, very soon. Take care, guys.